I had a question about this one's kind of conceptual, something that came to my mind. And that is like if musicians, if they age like wine, you know, like they hit a point where their facility is completely intact, they've had enough musical experiences, you know, where they really know how to express themselves and everything is coming together. Maybe there's still tons of hunger. And, and I wonder if like there's a tipping point where like, after a bit like then it starts to go the other direction or is there compensation somehow that I don't know in my case eh, in my case I had a, I don't even know how to call it it's probably the first time I'm going to talk about it I had a thing that it was super crazy okay. <clears throat> I, I was on tour with Zucchero I don't know if you know. No. You guys see it. You, you guys know who it's. Zucchero is one of the biggest uh, Italian stars, pop stars. Okay. Stadiums and the, huge. And I started getting paralyzed all the right side of my body. Really? Paralyzed. Like, ooh, I have problem walking. Oh, the, ooh, what's happening? At the end of the Zucchero too. I was almost in a wheelchair. Wow. <clears throat> so I started see, seeking doctors. We started, my manager and I, we started looking at doctors. Until we found this lady. I mean, everyone from the, from the very beginning said, we had to operate your spine, you had not forget yeah. it. Actually, wow. you shouldn't even move anymore. We had to do this now. Because if you continue like that, you're going to be in a wheelchair forever. Wow. So we had to do it now. We saw like 10 doctors, good doctors. Every doctor in Cuba and every doctor in Miami, New wow. York, Miami. So, until we found this lady, Linda Sterno. Now she was the best friend of Betty Davis, Miles wow. Davis' wife. Wow. And she studied <laughs> in NYU. She studied neurosurgeon. In the NYU, uh -huh. when Miles and Jimi Hendrix were putting a band together, and wow. she used to go to, to the rehearsals of these people, a neurosurgeon, right? Well, what is it? Man. <clears throat> and, well, she operates on me, and, you know, I, had, I was operated. You had the operation? Yeah. It was a big uh, physical challenge for my, in my plane, you know, in my plane. Wow, man. I, but, but somehow I believe that the desire goes together with the, you know what I mean? It's like the yin with the yang, mm -hmm. that they go, mm -hmm. if something of this is missing, something of this would cover this. Yeah. And if something of this is missing, yeah. this would cover it. Absolutely. Know? You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, <clears throat> I mean, I wish, of course, I wish to be able to have more physical dexterity. You know what I mean? Physical. Yeah. I'm 56 years old. I'm not, not a kid anymore. You know what I mean? I'm still a kid. I'm a, <laughs> the biggest kid. Yes, and it's because of the drums, too. I, as I told you Absolutely, before, this is man. a playground. It's a freaking kid's playground. Yeah. It's like you, you get there. Oh, yeah. And you're you know, a happy player, sounds sure. and things and rhythms and how rhythms and sounds work together. Yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah, that's great.